What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer. Now, way back when, when we first started this channel, one of you guys asked me to shoot a baseball bat with the Canon, and that kind of sparked the idea for this video. So it's baseball season. This is the perfect time. We're going to throw out our first pitch. We're going to be shooting some baseball bats out of here, all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll head on over to the range and get this thing loaded up with some fun stuff to shoot. But before we do, thank you guys so very much for liking and watching our last video with the 3D printed tank rounds. That thing exploded. All of you that have subscribed already, thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already while we're heading over to the range, go ahead and drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the cool stuff that we got coming out in the future. And I'm printing those 3D uh, printed uh, falling apart sabots, discarding sabots as we speak. So those will be coming out in a future video for you guys. So I'll meet y'all over at the range and we'll throw out our first pitch out of our cannon here and see how we can play baseball with a cannon. Okay guys, so for our very first shot playing some baseball, I've got these little tiny baseballs. They're about the same size as our cannonball. They are very light, so I'm not sure these are going to fly very accurately or very far at all. But we're going to go ahead and throw out our very first pitch to open up our baseball game here. We've got a baseball glove set up. we got one of these loaded in our cannon and we're going to see if we can catch it. Okay guys, we've got one of our mini baseballs loaded up in our cannon here. We're going to go ahead and throw out our opening pitch and see if we can catch a mini baseball in our baseball glove over there, or how accurate they are in the first place. Let's just see. High and right. I think I saw it hit the ground. Very light little projectiles, not a lot of weight to them. So they're not gonna go very far or very accurately is what it looks like. Okay guys, so while I was rooting around down there, I actually found the pieces of our baseball that we just shot out, trying to catch it in our glove here. Looks like it just shredded off the outside skin of our baseball here. Okay guys, so for our very next shot, we've got our baseball bat loaded up in our cannon. We're going to go ahead and shoot one of these against a softball to see if we can hit it. If we can, how accurately it'll fly, what kind of damage it'll do against a softball. Okay guys, so for our next shot, we've got one of our mini baseball bats loaded up. We've got a softball down there. We're going to see if we can hit it. If we can, what kind of damage it'll do. I think this thing will fly pretty crazy, so I'm excited to see what happens. Well, we hit the wood at least. I don't know if we actually hit the ball, but we at least hit the wood. Did the ball survive? Yeah, the ball's perfectly fine. But the wood, however, ooh, looks like it took a direct impact from that bat. Wow, that's some damage done to that. We're gonna have to shoot a bat at a ballistics gel torso one of these days just to see what it does. That is scary. Okay guys, for our next shot, we got a 10 ounce cannonball loaded up and it's time for us to buy some peanuts at the old baseball game. If you need some peanuts, I think the box is open for you. <laughs> yep, that basically just ripped that to shreds. Peanuts are everywhere. The birds are sure going to be happy that they get to eat all those peanuts. <laughs> okay, guys, so for our next shot, we got a 10 ounce cannonball loaded up. It's our turn up the bat, so we're going to see if we can hit those bats down there with one of our cannonballs and see what happens if we can.
Well, I saw one of them jump, so let's go check it out. I think we hit the metal one and maybe not the wooden one. Yeah. Metal bat. Wow. <laughs> no resistance whatsoever. <laughs> For our cannonball, it just went right through the center there. No resistance, no problem whatsoever. Left a little powder burn on our wood back here and broke the plastic wrapping. No damage to it. And it just blew a hole right through the middle of that wooden bat. That's pretty funny. Okay, guys, so for our next shot, we got a 10 ounce cannonball loaded up. We're going to see if we can hit our softball with that because we missed it with our baseball bats. We're going to see if we can knock it out with a regular cannonball, ball. And if we can, what's on the inside of that softball? Well, we hit it, and it's all the way over there. <laughs> okay. So it rolled all the way off into the distance. <laughs> oh, yeah, we for sure hit it. There you go. It's like we just winged it on the top. So that's what's inside of a softball. Nice foam core here. It's like we just hit it square in the top there and it just rolled across the world. So you can hit a softball with a cannon. Okay guys, so for our very last shot of baseball here, since we missed the softball with our baseball bat, we got another mini baseball bat loaded up. We're gonna see if we can hit a watermelon with it, much bigger target. And if we can, what kind of damage it'll do against that watermelon. So let's go ahead and touch this off and see what goes. I'm excited to see what happens. So I'm excited to go see, check out on the high speed to watch that bat explode. There's a piece of it there. <laughs> oh, it looks like it hit right here. Aha, so that looks like what may have happened. So it hit low, skipped up, and it did some damage to our watermelon. It at least hit it a little bit. Ooh, that's a nice saw. Oh, it did hit the watermelon right there in the center. There's a nice hole. So it did something at least. So I'm excited to see what that looks like in the high speed. But there's sure enough a hole into that watermelon. Didn't go through. But a decent hole, I can all put my fingers all the way into that, almost all the way through that watermelon. So hopefully we hit it square on. I'm excited to look at the high speed and see what that looks like. Yeah, okay, so here's another little piece of our bat. Here's the handle. It looks like it just shredded off there. So you can see the handle here is all burnt to pieces where it came out of the cannon. Well guys, that was pretty fun. I really didn't expect those baseball bats to explode like they do and send splinters everywhere. I do not want to get hit by one of those. We're going to have to shoot a ballistic shell torso with one of those one of these days and see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What was your favorite thing that we shot out of the cannon? What was the favorite thing that we shot? Drop down below, let us know in the comments. Um, if you do have any things that you want to see us shoot out of our cannon, also leave those in a comment too. Or if you have any general questions, let me know and I'll hopefully get those things answered for you guys in just a short while. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button too. It really helps us get this video out into the world of YouTube. And I once again appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed. And if you haven't, go ahead and hit that button as well. Thank you so very much. Now, once again, guys, my name's Jonathan. This is my Cannon. I hope you enjoyed us playing baseball today, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.